OK, in the FA Cup third round, uh, it's finished Stoke City nil, Leicester City 4. Um, I think the scoreline is a little bit unfair on Stoke, but in the second half they did sort of run out of energy and the play kept breaking down, they were tired and the golfing class was exposed. But in the first half, they did stifle Leicester very effectively for 30 odd minutes. And it takes a wonder goal from, from James Justin playing on the left hand side when he's normally a right sided wing back or, or right back, playing on the left. Cuts in on his right, and, and that finish um, is one of the one of the goals of the round, if not goal of the month candidate. It's one of the best goals I've seen in a while. Uh, brilliant finish. The goal, uh, Bursic, the goalkeeper, has, has no chance on, on stopping that. Uh, absolutely no chance. Um, and that brought the game to life. The game was a bit of a slow burner, very tactical. Uh, two sides sizing each other up. I mean, Stoke are not a bad side. They're doing very well in the championship. They were missing players, as were Leicester. A lot of players are missing from action this weekend in the FA Cup. Leicester, however, have got squad depth, which they didn't have in previous seasons. And that shows up on the score sheet as well. You look at the players you've scored. Um, if you're not a hardcore Leicester fan, you may not have heard of some of these players. Albrighton and Perez, obviously, but Harvey Barnes is another one, which I'll get to later on. Albrighton's gone 58 minutes in the second half. The play breaks down in the midfield because Stoke have to open up. They're starting to get tired. Albrighton, um, again, it's a brilliant cross to him. But his finish is pretty good as well. It's a bullet of a finish. Low and hard. Bursic, the goalkeeper, he is only young. He did have a very, very good game. I think that's one of the goals he would want back. Three out of the four goals, I think he has no hope in stopping. But in this case, he gets a strong right hand to it, or a weak right hand to it, depending on your point of view. And I think he could do better as well. I think that's a goal he would want back. Um, but again, Albrighton's he's done the defender. All, all ends up. Cuts inside, and it is a very, very strongly struck shot. Uh, it's a daisy cutter, but it's a strong, powerful shot. It's a brilliant goal, but the play's breaking down. Stoke are starting to run out of energy a little bit. The last two goals come within two minutes of each other. Um, Stoke, they're still willing to give it a go, but the play keeps breaking down in midfield. Uh, Iosi Perez's goal comes from a, a three three pass counter attack involving you know, Castagna and, and Tealmans and Perez. Uh, it breaks down. He starts the the counter attack. Tealmans and Castagna link up very well, and, and Perez continues his run into the box, and it is a very very good finish. Um, it, the move itself from them winning the ball back in midfield to the goal is about seven seconds. It's not very long, and it's quick, fast paced on the move football. Good, good combinations uh, and just counter-attack football at its best, which is Leicester's strength is their counter-attacking. It, they have pace in this lineup. Uh, and defenders like Ryan Shaw, I mean, Shawcross wasn't expected to play the 90 minutes. He hasn't played a lot of football. He is getting on in his years now. He's in his mid-30s. Uh, yeah, he's beaten all ends up as a centre-back, and he was one of Stoke's better players today. Uh, he put a shift in, but yeah, Stoke didn't have the pace in defence. And Harvey Barnes, he's a player I want to talk about. I can see why Leicester fans are raging about him right now. Uh, he gets a, I think he's a very underrated player. I haven't seen a lot of him, but in the 80 minutes he was on the field, he created chances, created space. It caused problems for the defenders. Linked link play was brilliant. Had quite had a few chances, and his goal is just good. It's good follow up play. Uh, you know, carry a run on into the box, uh, support support the attack uh, from midfield, um, and his finish is, is very very good as well. And it, I think that's a great goal to finish off the 4-0. Um, a lot of fans are in Leicester are raving about him. I think he's underrated. He's going under the radar, whereas some of you know the other young up-and-coming English attacking midfield players and then skilled players like Grealish and all that uh, are getting a lot of headlines, Mason Greenwood and all that. He's underrated, and I think he could be a very good bet to go to the Euros. Uh, he had a very, very good performance. He scores his goal with his last kick. Uh, brilliant energy for 80 minutes. No denying that, you know, key part of their attack today. And all four goals, two of them are, are quite individual, individualistic, should I say. Especially James Justin. Um, when he gets the ball, there's there's no shot on. Uh, he has to make his angle and, and cut in. It's a brilliant finish. Albrighton, again, when he gets the ball, he, there's no shot on. There's no opportunity available. He, he, yes, gets the ball in a very good position, but he creates his own opportunity. Perez and Barnes, they're on the counter-attack as well, um, but that's good support play, and that's continuing your running to the box. Stoke, for all their endeavours, uh, too heavily reliant on set plays, um, I think a bit too rigid in their tactics, and they ran out of steam somewhat, uh, but they can't be disappointed with their performance. They put a, a effort in there, they just ran out of steam. 
Uh, and there is a clear goal for class. If Stoke are to get to the Premier League, they're going to have to make additions to that squad. Uh, if they do get promotion, that's what they're hunting for. They want to get back to the Premier League. They're going to have to be in the transfer market because the squad they have, well, they have some Premier League talent in that squad in John Obi McKell uh, and, and McLean and others who play in the Premier League. Uh, there's a reason why they're ex-Premier League players and not still in the Premier League. Uh, they've lost a yard or two of pace. Um, there's some young, exciting talent, as Leicester have proved with their lineup today, that are better than them in the Premier League. And there is that gap in quality. And the finishing as well, Leicester had far better finishing than Stoke. Stoke were wayward. They did create some chances, but not enough on target. They didn't cha um, challenge Cashmere Spike or that back foot enough. And Leicester are deserved 40 winners. And I, it'll be interesting to see how far Leicester go in this year's FA Cup. They're running high in the Premier League. They're one point off top. And they could be dark horses with the Premier League title for their second title. It's possible. And they could be dark horses in the uh, FA Cup as well. Because looking at some of the players... Um, that aren't available this weekend for injury, suspension, COVID reasons. Leicester could go on a run if, if, if you know, they get a decent draw and, and uh, they keep this momentum. So keep your eyes peeled for Leicester going deep into the FA Cup this season. Thank you very much for watching. Place your thoughts below and I'll have some more videos for you very, very soon.